So the recommended actions, persons, and deadline editor are the important steps for the optimization in APIS. If you have action priority medium, in most cases you need to do something. It depends on what you defined on your company. If you have, for example, occurrence 8, then you will have action priority high, and then you need to do something. In this case, you click the same button, the revision state. If you have already initial states, then he will automatically create a new revision state. And he took automatically the occurrence and detection values from the initial state. And here I can insert new actions. And in the meaning of design FMA, these are in most cases, I optimize the design, I change dimensions, I change my CAD model, I do some tests and so on. To reduce the occurrence, let's do a validation test. And here you can insert your number of your validation test. And then I insert a test. This is also visible in the icon. Now the revision state has deadline and responsible, and this is related to all actions within this revision state. So if I copy and paste, then I have three validation tests and each of them has this deadline. But you can set also, of course, each test their own deadline. Double click on the deadline icon and the date here, you can choose date in the future. You can choose your status under consideration in progress. And responsible, you can insert your people, not in this window, but under administration. Then he asks, do you want to save the changes? Yes. Then you comes to the teams and persons editor. And here you can right mouse click new person, insert some people you want. And then you can close this window and then double click again. And then you can choose the people here. And then all three tests will have this due date and status and this responsible person. And I inserted three tests. That's why the detection is in brackets and the occurrence not. And tests only reduce the detection, let's say to a three. And how can I reduce then the occurrence? I recommend to create a new revision state and insert a preventive action, which can look like reducing occurrence value due to positive tests. For example, if you're designing a new component and you don't know if this will work, you do some tests and then figured out that it worked, then you can reduce your occurrence in the FMA with a preventive action. Now you see the detection tree APIS took from the previous revision state and now the occurrence is in brackets. Now I can change the occurrence from 8 to 3. Also here deadline and responsible. Responsible me. Okay. Now I see I come from action priority high to medium to low or in the AIG VDA form. By the way, I can select the test and if I want to see this test in the form sheet, synchronize into lower workspace, control Q, it's a very often used shortcut. So control shift Q and control Q, control Q from top to bottom. And then he automatically select, there's my validation test. This was part one of the optimization. And if you want to know how you can quickly filter, for example, for responsible and due date with the deadline editor, and if you want to test your knowledge and get a certificate, then enroll to my free online course and click here to watch the full playlist about the seven steps in APIS. Thanks for watching.